Well, I am back aboard Boogaboo, as you can probably figure out. <laughs> but I just want to show something, uh, show you something before I get too much farther along. See, on my last video from when I was here last weekend, boom, what did I tell you? If the clock is flashing, that means the power's out. And that stands to reason because we had some really nasty, gusty winds in this area last week. And uh, here we are, 11.34. Let's do this right now while we are both here just because it is so much fun. Uh, 11, 11.34. There we go. Done. Close enough. A and PM doesn't matter. It's 11.34. Yeah, we had really, really strong winds in this area. And... Uh, bit of snow too when i say a bit of snow we probably had about three inches or more but it is all melted now which is a good thing yeah i'm coming to you from inside the boogaboo boat remember when we were at our last marina and there was a number of times when i was trying to film something out in the cockpit area or facing over the water but i said i had to come in the cabin that was because yeah radio stereo is playing uh, too loud in the background so got a neighbor i'm not complaining I'm, it's good music that he's playing. It's uh, classic rock, which is hoo-ha. But if I record it, I will have a copyright flag from YouTube. So just to be safe, I'll stay inside with my voiceovers. But now I don't know if you notice. Now also, as you saw, just when I got in here, first thing I checked was the condition of the batteries. They're not doing any charging or conditioning or anything. So that has cycled through and has done its thing. I'm sure it shut off not too long after I was here last time. Um, and then when the power was down for, who knows how long the power was out for, but when the power was out and then restored, I'm sure the charger came back on and did whatever it likes to do. So remember on that last video, my last trip here, when I was doing the hooking up the shore power, I, I lied to you a little bit. I said I was gonna be here the following day cause that was, what day was that last week? I can't even remember. But anyways, the day that I was here, I said I was coming back the following day. I didn't. I was just dead tired. And frankly, I didn't feel like doing anything. So I didn't feel like uh, hoofing it up to the boat or, or doing whatever I was going to do, which was do the dock lines and fenders, which I may or may not do today because I am coming back again tomorrow. Uh, we have some decent weather. The sun is shining. Still a little bit on the cool side, um, but that's okay because I want to do something inside right now and that is measure for the new air conditioner that i got don't need that one but let's turn these lights on oh there we go yeah not sure if i mentioned it to you or not but the aft air conditioner um is it's pooched the it was coming on but not coming on if you know what i'm saying it was trying to cycle on but it wasn't it was just clicking ticking whatnot so i had my uh, hvac guy take a look at it and he says, no, forget it. He says, trying, uh, it looks like the compressor is shot. And he says, trying to replace that er, compressor would be the same amount of money almost as buying a whole new unit. And then it's still an old unit. Even if it was half as much, it's still an old unit. 25 years old, the same age as the boat. Remember, the boat is 1998 model year. And uh, please don't ask me any specs about this boat <laughs> because it's down in the description. All the specs, including the air conditioner, which is here. There's one up at the bow. 12,000 BTU, but this one here, I'm going to have the change because I have it listed as a 7,000 BTU, which this one is. Well, right now it's actually zero BTU because it's not outputting anything. And the replacement one, the retro kit I have is a 6,000 BTU. Supposed to be the same footprint, but a lot more efficient because it's 25 year new technology and it's made by Dometic. So it should be a straight uh, swap out. So what I'm gonna do right now I unboxed the thing today. Uh, it's been sitting at home for the last couple of weeks, but I unboxed it today for the first time and just to take a look at it, make sure it's what I was expecting. And I measured the dimensions of it. So I'm gonna try and dig my way in there a little bit today, in there, and see what I can see. I don't think I'm gonna start actually disconnecting anything today, but I just wanna have a quick look. And uh, as far as I get with that, I say I'll probably leave the fenders and lines till tomorrow because it's supposed to be again a nice warm day and hopefully I get anchor girl up here with me as well.
Okay, so I have this access panel off in the uh, this little closet area here in the aft cabin, mid cabin, whatever we're going to call it. Let's call it the aft cabin. It's just more fun. And that is what we have. And I just did some rough measurements. And I'm thinking that the new one, the footprint is actually a little bit smaller because the compressor looks smaller on the new one. And yeah, you can see some flickering. It's just because there's an LED light that I'm using here, trouble light. So, uh, the issue is going to be, sorry, not the issue, but the approach should be really straightforward because I just have to disconnect the um, outlet line and this part will actually uh, turn a little bit so I can get in the right position. Water in, water out, and then the electrical, which I can't see from here. But I'm sure that there's like a master line coming for the AC for the AC, right? The alternating current, the 120. And um, yeah, and then the thermostat line. I don't see that here. So what I'm going to have to do is to get this thing out because it's not going to come out of this space. Well, it's going to come out of this space, but it's not going to come out of that opening. Is I'm going to, let me just back up here a little bit. That's the AC unit is down in there. So I'm going to just have to pull out these two drawers and then that should be wide enough. Why didn't I measure that while I was here? Because the new unit is 16 inches wide. I measured it. Yeah, it looks like we have about 18 inches of width and it's only 10 and a half inches high. And this is about 16 inches high once the drawers are removed. So um, that would be the next step in this process is just remove these drawers. And then I will have better access. I'll disconnect what I can at the top and then do the rest from here and pull it out. And put the new one back in. But that ain't going to happen today, my friends. Yeah, so that makes me happy. I'm glad that I have this figured out. Shut this light off. And close this cabinet up. And then get out of here. Yeah, one more little thing I want to do. Um, not related to anything re really repairing on the boat. Just something I want to do while I'm here. And then I am going to call it a day. So that means that those fenders and lines are not going on this boat today. So I will be back tomorrow. Heard that before. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to come back tomorrow because um, it's supposed to be rainy and, well, warm, but rainy and kind of snotty this coming week. Um, so I don't know if I'll get a chance to come back up here. So I'm going to come here tomorrow, real time today, Saturday. I'll come back tomorrow, Sunday. Again, hopefully with Anchor Girl. Maybe she'll give me a hand and we'll just throw those dock lines and fenders on the boat whole other video yay exciting so yeah that's it from my uh, still in the air boogaboo but that's going to change soon so that's it as always look forward to your comments and look forward to get that ac unit hooked up and uh, get it running on the boat hoo-ha okay we'll see you in the next one cheers